Well, this is the clock coloured in, mostly modelled. This is the escapement, wheel and escapement. I've only got a pendulum to do and the rope drive drum. And I've got to uh, sort it out, as you can see. Something not quite right. Very difficult to tell what. I'll shift this uh, gear out of the way, which is the hour hand gear. As you can see, it runs fine. Well, not fine maybe, but I think it's what it is. The hour hand gear is catching or binding on the shaft which of the minute hand gear, which is the purple one. Pain in the neck it is. It's... Uh, I'm going to have a break from this for a while. I think it's giving rain for the weekend, so I'll probably have another go then. This is the clock sort of assembled with its things and fingers. Um, hang on a minute, I'll uh, put some shading on this, or viewport shading. So I'll go in there, matte cap, and just random. And it makes it a bit easier to see. Not a whole lot, to be honest, but... Uh, if you want to... Now yeah, then... Yeah, but uh, you'll not be expecting this. I certainly wasn't most surprised I was very interesting I think when I parented the fingers to the uh, movement I must have parented uh, one of the uh, rigid body physics constraints as well I'll have to hunt through and find out which one I think it was going a bit fast anyway, but uh, you can cut the speed down here. It's difficult to tell when you're first running it because it's caching, or caching, or whatever it is doing. So it sort of sets off a bit slow, and when you run it through again, uh, you can see at the bottom it's putting a little sort of brownie-orange line down. You could, of course, just bake it, um, but uh, you know, very interesting. At least the cogs and fingers are moving as they're supposed to. And looking on the bright side, the clock face and numerals are stopping still. I suppose it could have had it uh, that spinning as well. Rather a novel clock. Here it is coloured in. That didn't make any difference, of course. That's all for today.